So as we uh, learned on the last video about how we can use import and export wizard to uh, load data from the legacy system into the Salesforce and export the data from Salesforce to the CSU or whatever format you want. Now, uh, in today's lecture, we are going to learn about data loader. Now, why, why do we need to use the data loader? Because there are certain uh, you can say advantage is using data loader like in if we are using uh, import wizard we can have approximately we can import up to 50,000 records right so these many records we can handle using import wizard and also another limitation is like uh, we cannot go beyond certain objects in uh, data import wizard like we can only import account lead solution and other custom objects so there are certain limitations on that also uh, apart from this if we need to load more data more than 50,000 then we can go with this uh, data loader so it's a very good tool in order to load comprehensive or more data in your Salesforce or but, oh, apart from that it uh, not only supports uh, all the standard objects and custom objects that is also one of the good benefit of using data loader. Not only the number of records we can import in using the data loader. It also supports uh, uh, exporting the data. But here one thing you need to keep in your mind is like if you are going to use data loader then you need to install data loader inside your system. Right? Uh, we will see the another data loader tool that is data loader.io in next lecture. So that is a web based tool in that you don't require to install anything but here we are talking about the data loader the earlier one so this data loader requires installation in your system and after installing it in your system you will be able to use it you can insert you can import the data you can export the data you can upsert you can delete so all of these things you can achieve using this data loader so uh, without waiting uh, waiting any much more time let's go dig in, inside the Salesforce and let's see how we can use this tool now let's uh, log in into your Salesforce or I have logged in with my credential now just go to the setup and in the quick find box just write down data loader so you'll find this data loader here Now there is a Windows installation instruction is there if you are using Windows operating system otherwise you can find the instruction for Mac as well. So just click on that and you will find this instruction here and as you say as the instruction said that first you need to install Zulu on a JDK version 11 for Windows. That is an MSI file that you need to download from this uh, Zulu website right. So from here you can download it uh, depending upon the operating system you are using but as uh, data loader is not supporting uh, linux so you just don't need to install it on linux go for the windows and uh, download this jdk uh, this version 11 from here now once it is installed uh, you need to install the data loader as well right you need to install the data loader file download it and install it and there is a bat file for installation that you just need to double click on that bat file and the rest of the task will be done by that bat file that will install the data loader in your uh, on your desktop now once it is installed we can start using the data loader now let's see how we can use this data loader uh, let's uh, uh, i have already downloaded it in my system so now i am just opening the data loader to use it in my system Yeah, so this, this is the data loader, right? Now, uh, let's we are trying to insert the data. So using this uh, CSV file, I'm going to import or insert the data in my Salesforce org. Currently, I have three accounts in my system. So I'm just going to add one more account using this import, right? Using the data loader. So let's go back again to the data loader click on insert 
Now, once you click on insert, it will ask for the login. So you need to provide your production or sandbox login credential here. Uh, I'm in the develop, development organization, so I'm just using uh, production one. That is my dev org, right? You need to pass in the credentials. So I am using mine. So this will authorize your uh, login and it will allow access to use the data loader. It will get the access of your system, your org, so that the data loader can import the data in your system because all uh, required to be done in order to use this. So once you provide the right credential, you will be successfully login in your org and then just click on the next button. And as I need to import the data in account object, I'm just using this one. And before importing the data, I would like to show you the file which I'm going to import in my system. So this is the CSV file which I'm going to import. So you can see the name is BavSP and customer and all other data you can see. So there is a phone number and everything is there. So I'm just going to use this file in order to import the data. So this is just a test or temporary file. Otherwise you can load as many data as possible with the data loader. On the desktop, the file in the account, open, click on next. Okay. Now, you can see the field mapping is there. You need to just uh, apply the field ma mapping here. So currently it has not done any mapping. So just click on the create or edit mapping and then you'll have this. Uh, this these are the fields from the Salesforce and these are the fields from your file. So you just need to drag and drop the field. Let's say account number is mapped with this. And account source. So you need to map all these fields. And new revenue. We can try automate, yeah. So it will match all the fields, right? So now the fields are mapped. We can save the mapping. Uh, let's say I'm saving it on my desktop as a account mapping. Click on OK. Then click on Next. Now you need to select the directory where you want to save your error or success messages, right? So I'm just uh, creating a new folder inside my desktop. Let's say log and in the name as log. Create. Click on finish. Yes. Now it has started to importing the records. Now you can see the message. The operation is fully completed and there was there was one successful insert and 20 errors. So let's see what are the errors. Okay, now let's go to the Salesforce org in order to see whether we have important data in our org or not. So just going to my org and opening my account again. 
and in that I need to select all accounts. So you can see the first record. So this is the record which we have loaded in our Salesforce or using data loader. You can verify the data with the CSV file if you want. Let's say I'm going into details and I'm just verifying my uh, account number CD. Let's say we can find it here. You can find the phone number as well, 5157576000. So this is the number you can see it, right? Right, any uh, other thing you can find this ticket system is edge, ticker symbol. Right, and employees you can find thousand, so, Shipping address you can find it here exactly the same access USA. Okay, so this is how we can use this great tool in order to load more and more data in your org. Basically, this tool is very much useful if you want to uh, import data which is more than 50,000 because smaller imports can be done using import wizard, but if you want to load more data, and if you want to load more data on more objects, which are not supported by import wizard, then you can go with this tool. So just go and use this tool, and just load your system with the data. Thank you for watching this video.